Greetings, St. Richard's Episcopal Church community. I'm Allison Harity, the rector here at St. Richard's Episcopal Church in Winter Park, Florida. This is your E! News for Thursday, March 24th, 2022. Time's ticking. Just want to start with a little bit from uh, Ignatius. A little meditation, getting back to a little more spiritual stuff here, just uh, rather than just announcements. Ignatius says, be more zealous than you are now. Learn to understand the times. Expect him to come who is above time, the timeless one, the invisible one, who became visible for our sake, the untouched one, the one beyond suffering, who came to suffer for us, who in every way endured for our sake. Toil together, fight, run, suffer, rest, and rise up together as God's stewards, companions of his table and his servants. Please him who is your warlord, him from whom you will also receive your soldiers' pay. Let none of you desert the flag. Let your baptism remain your armor, faith your helmet, love your spear, patience your, west, your weapon. That's from uh, a letter to Polycarp in the year 120 uh, of the Common Era. It's quoted in the early Christians. So thank you, Ignatius, for your words. Here's your announcements. Sunday morning adult education is again resumed at 9.30 in the parish hall. We're using one of the great courses entitled Jesus and the Gospels. This one's taught by Luke Timothy Johnson of Emory University. We're having a good time with it in the last two weeks. Come on for week number three this coming Sunday. A note about Easter Sunday. We are going to have some fellowship. April 17th, Easter Sunday, after the 10.30 a.m. church service, we're going to restart our tradition of having an Easter egg hunt for all of your children. Grandchildren, children, cousins, neighbors, whoever uh, is under 12 years old in your life, bring them to church and we'll have an Easter egg hunt. And for the adults, we're going to be serving mimosas. So make your plans to attend St. Richard's on Easter Sunday now. On Sunday, we announced that we would be going through Episcopal Relief and Development in order to direct our do donations to support the humanitarian crisis in Ukraine. We may have more specific people to support. I'm uh, continuing to gather some information from some of you in our congregation. So continue to make your donations, make them payable to St. Richard's, and we will keep you posted on exactly where your money's going to go. And I found this prayer um, for, for Ukraine from the Bishop of the Convocation of Episcopal Churches in Europe the Right Reverend Mark Eddington, and I want to share this prayer with you to close. God of timelessness, from chaos and disorder, you brought forth the beauty of creation. From the chaos of war and violence, bring forth the beauty of peace. God of compassion, you saw the humanity of the outcast and the stranger. Help us to see the evils of our hatreds and our suspicions, and to turn them into the embrace of your beloved community. God of peace, through your love on the cross, you overcame the power of violence and death. Turn us away from the love of power, that we may transform a warring world through the power of your love. Amen. Be a church on the mission. We are on it. Change your life. Change the whole world.